Hey YouTube, it's me again, Briefaholic. It's now 12.58 on a Sunday morning. Just wanted to do a quick review on this uh, new j DP4 dosing pump. Got it about five days ago, set it up, run it perfect. And uh, I've read a lot of comments about it. Some people are scared to put it on their tank because it's getting it might get stuck and those have got enough alcohol calcium in the tank. But I got it set up on my reef keeper light. Okay, the way I got it set up. I got the bottles back here. My calcium alkalinity. Then the hoses run straight up. To my dosing pump, then it doses alk and calcium right into my overflow. Runs down into the tank, into the sump. Comes all the way over, makes its way back up to the top. Comes back on its white pipe. This right here is my pH tempo. Now how, how I have this set up? Let's say this R cost to get stuck on. It will dose, flow through the sun, come back up. A pH pole will pick up the pH. If it gets up to 8.5, I'll be hooked right here onto this module right here for the reef keeper. Once it gets to 8.5, it shuts that port off, so it cuts the power. Now I had my pH probe down here, but I move it up top because when it's down here, it's going to tend to go up to 8.5 really quick. I don't want it to necessarily be triggering that port on and off that frequently. So that's why I set this thing up over here. Um, well my tank is set to run from lights on at 2 in the afternoon to midnight. Now from 3 o'clock to 11, it doses calcium at 1 milliliter every hour. So it comes out for 9 seconds every hour starting at 3 o'clock all the way to 11 o'clock. Then when the lights go off, we start dosing alkalinity from 3 o'clock to 10 o'clock. And it doses all these things in uh, increments of 1 milliliter every hour. So that's my fair say for alkalinity if it gets stuck. It will trip this pH probe, it will give this pH probe a reading, trip the Reef keeper to cut the port off, so this will go dead, totally go dead. So it won't dose a whole gallon. On the calcium, I ordered me a float switch. Should be here this week. I'm gonna put that float switch maybe somewhere back here. So if the calcium gets stuck, it's gonna raise this level, hit the float switch. It's gonna be the float switch that hooks up to this SL1 over here for the reef keeper. Once it hits the float switch, it's going to cut that same port off again. So that protects against calcium and alkalinity being those too much. Those are my safety um, measures I took on this dosing pump. I just could not spend 500 bucks on a doser. 120 bucks, hook it up to my controller that I already own over a year now and I don't even worry about it. Um, got, got all my calcium alkaline to magnesium where I want it to be. Put the pump on there, set it, forget it. Check it today, early today, everything was spot on, dead on. All my measurements dead on. So I love it, working perfect. Um, that's the latest equipment I got on my tank. Um, still doing that vinegar dosing. 
working out pretty good. I haven't updated on that yet. Not much to update other than no nitrates, no phosphates. Everything undetectable. But um, I'll be putting up more videos. And I'll keep you up to date on this um, Jabo BP4 dosing pump. I think it's awesome. And if you have a um, if you have like a reef keeper or even a, um, an apex controller, it'd be perfect to get for. Just set up the redundancies to protect your tank. All right, it's after one. Get ready to hit the bed. Let's start. I throw this up here. Let y'all know what I got going on. All right, good night.